Hey everyone, Anthony here. So I just want to make a quick video explaining why I think LVM is the best uh, storage solution solution for Ethereum staking. I've been running an Ethereum validator since uh, the same month that it launched and I've added validators to it since. I guess I'll rip off the camera from this tripod and show you it after I, I'm done explaining this. But Linux LVM and specifically I'm running it in Ubuntu. What it does is it gives you a way to add and remove and modify disks without having to reinstall the operating system, I guess. So what it does, uh, so you can have multiple disks. So right now I'm running uh, two, two terabyte SSDs. Uh, I don't know why I'm writing. Uh, it probably is bad that I'm left-handed. I should be middle-handed so I can write this way. Uh, so what it does, uh, you stick in your two terabyte SSDs and these are physical volumes. So these are called PVs for physical volumes. And what it does, it groups them together into one four terabyte LV, which is a logical volume. A and what you can do, let's say that this four terabytes gets filled. I, I really shouldn't be using autofocus. I'm really sorry, but I'm not changing it because this camera, I don't really know how to use that well. <laughs> this camera is, I, isn't set up for this type of video shooting, but I'm using it anyway. What it does, uh, you so let's say this four terabytes gets filled. Now the autofocus is now screwing me up. All right, I'm really sorry. It's just the way it's gonna be. So uh, with, with Ethereum staking, the main problem uh, that you run into, it's not CPU limitations, it's not RAM limitations, it's storage limitations because the blockchain continues to grow and grow and grow as more people use it and make transactions and all that stuff. So you want an easy way to add disks to your Ethereum validator. This way uh, you don't run out of storage space uh, and, and you have a way to upgrade easily. So that's where Linux LVM comes in because you can just add a new disk. Once this gets filled up, I can add a new disk in like five, 10 minutes, not even with, with Linux uh, commands. And it's really simple. I'm not gonna give you the instructions. You can look up the instructions online. It's maybe like five or six commands to do, but you just plug in another two terabyte SSD or four terabyte SSD or a hard drive, which you shouldn't use a hard drive because they're too slow. But uh, I'm just saying that as an example, it doesn't have to be that you don't have to use the same disks or type of disks or anything like that. Uh, so you just throw in another disk, plug it in, uh, run a couple commands, and that disk is uh, added to this logical volume. So now you'll have uh, six terabytes if you add another two terabyte SSD. The reason I think smaller drives are better is because when you're doing this, you're adding SSDs to the system. So when I say this, this is just in theory. I haven't, this hasn't been applied in practice yet because my two terabyte SSD isn't filled. But the problem with running SSDs and you need to run SSDs because hard drives are way too slow and even hard drives can fail too, but SSDs have a, uh, TBW terabytes written, they have a lifespan. They can only do so many writes until they slow down and die and whatever. Eventually these SSDs will die and you will have to rebuild and re-download the blockchain and, and all that for your Ethereum validators to continue running. My idea, my theory is that with LVM, it doesn't write to both of these drives at the same time. It only writes to one of them. From what I see, it, you can't select which drive gets written to, but it's only, and I'm not even sure, I haven't seen a way to tell which drive is being written to. Once these are created into logical volumes, you can only see that the whole four terabyte is being written to. So I, I haven't found a way, let me know if there is a way, but I haven't found a way to see which of these drives is getting filled. I've only read information online saying that only one drive gets filled at a time. What that means is, uh, and, and this works out as a benefit in, in my theory, is that once this two terabyte drive gets filled, it'll move on to using the next drive. So the terabytes written, the lifespan of this drive no longer will become an issue 
because it's not being written to anymore. It's It'll still have the operating system on it, or maybe the operating system is used for both. But it's not being pummeled with hundreds of gigabytes per day, reads and writes, uh, maybe even more than that or less depending on how many geth nodes you're connected to and, and beacon nodes you're connected to, but it's not, it will not be used as much anymore. So the lifespan of this drive won't be an issue in theory. Th that's just my theory. So this should, uh, I don't know if I'm repeating myself or rambling or whatever, but, but I, I guess I just want to get the point across. This should in theory mean that our SSD lifespan doesn't matter anymore. It shouldn't be an issue. Uh, we still have to add drives to, to the system. Once, once these get filled up, we still have to add drives, but these drives in theory shouldn't fail uh, because once it gets filled up, oh yeah, that's the thing I wanted to say. Once it gets filled up, it's no longer an issue. So the one thing is you kind of want to time it properly to where this gets filled up before it loses its lifespan. So what I mean by that is, say only one and a half terabytes gets filled up and you're already at the, uh, I have uh, sent, uh, or I have 870 Evo drives and I think they have a 1200 or yeah, 1200 terabytes per year, or I'm sorry, 1200 terabytes written lifespan. The problem is what happens if that 1200 terabytes written gets used up when this drive is only one and a half terabytes full. I don't know if this is gonna be an issue with two terabyte drives. In my previous uh, Ethereum validator setup, I had a one terabyte SSD in it, and it was at 87% health after a little over one year, maybe like 15, 16 months of use, once it got filled up and I had to reconfigure the system. So I think two terabytes is okay, but Maybe four terabytes isn't. Maybe in the future, if you have an eight terabyte SSD, maybe that eight terabyte SSD will only get filled, only four terabytes will get filled before its lifespan is used up, before its uh, terabytes written lifespan is used up. So in my theory is you wanna use smaller SSDs for your Ethereum validator because you don't want the lifespan of the drive to run out before it's filled up. So what's gonna happen? Say that you have only one and a half terabytes of uh, space filled and its lifespan is used up. Well, it's gonna continue writing to this one drive and using this drive at its either slower performance or, or it's gonna die before it moves on to this drive. Let me restate that so it makes sense. Give me a second to think. What I'm trying to say, the sweet spot is you want this drive you want this drive to be filled up before its lifespan is exceeded. This way it'll move on to using this drive. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. If this video is helpful to you, please donate either Bitcoin or Ethereum to the addresses uh, below because uh, it, 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 it'll it really help me out. I don't wanna get into some of the stuff that I'm going through right now, uh, but Please, if you can, if this video was helpful, please uh, donate Bitcoin or Ethereum to the addresses below. All right. If you guys have uh, a better file system or a better storage solution for Ethereum Validator, uh, write it in the comments so other people can hear about it and look into it on their own. Because this is just my thoughts and, and my theory and, and all that. Uh, that's a solution that, that I'm working with and using. If you can find a way to tell which disk is being written to, uh, let me know too, because I would really like to see the usage per disk. Mm -hmm.